Thank you, Jen, for bringing church and community together. And congratulations again. It's now my pleasure to invite Dr. Brian Williams, Dean of Templeton Honors College, to introduce the Templeton Honors College Alumna of the Year. The recipient of this year's Templeton Honors College Alumni of the Year is the youngest recipient who has ever received this award. Even though she only graduated in 2022, she was still chosen by her alumni peers for representing and embodying the spirit of the Honors College. One of her nominating peers wrote this about her. She is deeply thoughtful about her life, both spiritually and academically. She pursues goodness, beauty, truth, and holiness for their own sake in all areas of her life. She maintains high standards and is upright in moral character. She is kind to everyone and truly takes joy in everything Templeton is about. Uh, this reminds me of the epitaph on Jane Austen's grave in the cathedral at Winchester. This is what it says on Jane's Austen's Jane Austen's grave that doesn't mention any of Austen's accomplishments, but only her character. It reads, the benevolence of her heart, the sweetness of her temper, and the extraordinary endowments of her mind obtained the regard of all who knew her and the warmest love of her intimate connections. The very same could be said of our alumni of the year winner several times over. Though, of course, she too does have a few accomplishments. Uh, both behind her and we know in the future many more to come. Originally a southerner from Tennessee, she moved way north up to Philly, uh, to Templeton and Eastern in 2018, and graduated magna cum laude in 2022 with a bachelor's degree in classics. Now, you might not have known that Eastern has a bachelor's degree in classics because it doesn't. <laughs> it is an individualized major that this student forged with other Templeton and Eastern uh, professors. And then she also did minors in history and philosophy. So well read. And while a student, she was given the Bishop Award from the St. Andrews Society in Philadelphia, allowing her to study on a full scholarship at St. Andrews University in Scotland, one of the most prestigious universities in the world. Upon graduating from Eastern, she was also voted by her Templeton professors and peers to receive the Ingalls Paideia Award, which we give out every year to the student who best embodies, while a student, Templeton's pursuit of the true, good, beautiful, and holy. While a student, our recipient also served as a Latin tutor and a Latin instructor in a local classical school. A local classical school, I'll note, that has emailed me three times since then trying to get my help to help them draw her back to the school because they said, quote, in an email, this is, she was the best Latin instructor we've had in 20 years. <laughs> After leaving Easter, our winner returned to the University of St. Andrews in Scotland to complete a master's degree in systematic and historical theology at one of the top theology uh, departments in the world. A degree she received with first class honors for a really fascinating thesis that is classic Templeton and Eastern. It was a thesis on the early church father Gregory of Nazianzus, but on his ambiguous views on slavery and abolition. Now, unfortunately for the local classical school, but fortunately for us at Templeton and Eastern, I can now tell them that our alumni of the year award winner has another job and won't be able to teach Latin, at least not for them. For the past year, she's been an admissions counselor at Eastern, working with international and transfer students. And if you've been around the last couple of years, you know we've had a lot of transfer students. And many of them have come through her desk and come through her office. But in two weeks, she'll be returning to Templeton full time as uh, Templeton's chief recruitment officer, uh, overseeing and coordinating all of our efforts to recruit more students like her to the Templeton and Eastern community. More students who, in their own lives, while students, and in the world at large, while alumni embody the true, good, beautiful, and holy, and we couldn't be more thrilled. Like Austin, though, it is for her integrated intellectual, moral, and spiritual character that she is receiving this award. And the award that we give to our alumni of the year is both symbolic and practical. It is a bronze uh, owl set of bookends. Symbolic because the owl for 2,500 years has represented the wisdom we hope to inculcate in our students and practical, well, because our people got a lot of books. So, uh, so please join me in welcoming and celebrating the 2024 Templeton Alumni of the Year, Ellen Francis.
you so much, Dr. Williams, for the remarks and the bookend. I will make good use of this. Um, to be quite honest with you all, I feel a bit undeserving of this award. More so for the connection to Dane Austin, but we'll stick to the award. <laughs> I admit that my time at St. Andrews, my graduation from the Honors College, my time at St. Andrews felt pretty extraordinary and I'm proud of those accomplishments. But for the past couple of years, my life has felt fairly ordinary. I come to work at Eastern, I go home, make dinner, plan my wedding to fellow Templeton alumnus here at Blue. <laughs> work on a cross-stitch project and go to church on Sundays and that's about it. But the last class that we take as Templeton students is called The Ordinary Life. We start off by recognizing that even though we've just spent four years reading very high philosophy and theology in an honors college, that most of us will not do anything particularly famous or noteworthy, and that most of our lives will be spent taking care of these ordinary tasks but that in these ordinary day-to-day -day things, there is still space for us to cultivate virtue and to listen and respond to the call of God in our daily actions. So I'm incredibly grateful and honored by this because it says to me that I've been doing an okay job of that <laughs> since graduating from the Honors College, and I hope to continue so for the rest of my life. So thank you very much. I'm deeply honored. <laughs>